welcome back. If you're thinking this is a few more bikes than what you might normally see in one of my videos, you're quite right. This is the uh, assembly point for the Thunder Run of the New Zealand National Hog Rally 2023, which was run over the weekend of the 10th, 11th, 12th of November in Cromwell. And for the Thunder Run itself, we had in the order of 400 plus, maybe up to 500 uh, Harley Davidsons heading out from Cromwell, riding up to the Clyde Dam, where we're going to be stopping on the dam. Photo opportunity, the special arrangement with Contact Energy to open the sluice gates. Lots of photo opportunities, then we're going to ride through into Clyde Township itself where they've closed off the or one of the main streets there where we can park the bikes, have a bit of a morning tea, a bit of a catch up and a break before we head off on three planned rides that are going to be uh, departing from there a bit later in the morning. But in the meantime it's all about the Thunder Run and bikes are starting to form up into lines for this event. This is the start point. We're at the uh, Five Stags Bar and Grill or the Gate in Barry Avenue in Cromwell and uh, Things are starting to get a bit exciting now. Well, the engines have started now. We're in the queue. Uh, we've still got a few minutes before we get rolling, um, after which point I'll mostly be keeping quiet so you can have a listen to what it sounds like for a few hundred Harleys on the roll. But in the meantime, I'd just like to acknowledge what a great weekend, what a great series of events this whole weekend was. Really well organised, had such a fabulous time. 120th anniversary for Harley Davidson, 40th anniversary for the Harley Owners Group. A heartfelt thank you for everyone that has made such an effort to have all of this weekend come together like it did. Uh, and even the weather turned itself on over these kind of three days of the uh, celebration weekend. The weather just played its part perfectly, as you can see, blue skies, perfect uh, riding conditions, to be honest. Anyway, we're about ready to roll. You can see roll, uh, row number one is now pulling out. Now, how we set up for a ride, I've never been on one as big as this, is we're all in rows. You can see we're kind of behind the bike in front, in the shape of a big U. Row one is starting to peel away now, once row one, to our right, that is, once they finish going through, and you can see that they're riding through from the uh, left of the camera, is the kind of outer side of the U. Once they all stream past and row one is completely finished, I do think I'll glance over there soon, be able to have a look and see them starting to roll through. Yeah, you can see that there. Once the outer row has all gone, then our row, row number two, will start from the front and follow the same path, but we've got 400 plus bikes to get through here. It's going to take a few minutes, but don't worry, I'm just gonna let it roll and you'll get to uh, see people stream past. If you're in row one or row two, keep a look out. You'll probably see yourself rolling past. I'll keep quiet for now. I'll chip back in when, uh, when there's something more to be said, but uh, in the meantime, enjoy the, uh, the rollout.
you probably see, we had traffic management uh, in place at most of these big intersections, which is fantastic. So it was really necessary as well with so many bikes coming through. The roll up here on State Highway 8 through to Clyde, it's not a long ride, it's probably I think about 24 kilometres, maybe a little bit less distance from the gate uh, to Clyde Dam. So I haven't recorded all, well I did record all of that, but I'm not putting it all up. Um, the scenery is pretty amazing, especially on a day like this, blue skies, kind of alpine looking style mountains, beautiful lake to the right, or river I should say, heading up towards the Clyde Dam. Fair to say that everything came together exactly as it should for this ride, and we all had a, a wonderful time heading up towards the dam. The ride itself got a bit spread out here. I thought we'd probably be riding a little bit more in closer contact with the other riders, but if you look right ahead on the roadway, uh, much easier to see when you're there in the flesh. I think I'm pointing it out in a moment. As far as I can see on that road, is just dots of Harleys all the way. I thought we'd be riding at a bit of a cluster, but. We got quite spread out because it is a bit of a high speed road, especially being largely empty as it was at this time of the morning. Uh, fabulous stuff. Anyway, as we get up towards the top of the hill, there's a turn off to Clyde down a street called Sunderland Street. And it's at that point we're going to get off and stop in the dam. So you'll see that coming up uh, as it approaches shortly. As we turn onto the dam here, and I'm by no means a local, so I have no clue, but I think that there is not generally public access given to the uh, top of the dam here. Could be wrong, but that was my impression. Certainly, Google Map photos have shown have only ever shown a, uh, a closed gate, so it was pretty special to be able to get onto the dam in the first place. Even more special to be able to stop. So there were a lot of uh, permissions were granted from Contact Energy, as I understand for us to have access to the dam and they also agreed to open the sluice gates for us. That was pretty cool. To the left here we'll see a, a lot of um, uh, local groups who are collecting money for charity for their chosen charities. I forget which it was but bikers being bikers you can bet that everybody dug pretty deep into their pockets to support the locals where we could. Uh, they were just walking around once the bikes had all stopped and parked up. Um, ahead. And this was quite a sight. There are a few people that have drones and put them up and uh, it, I don't have one of those but uh, had a little tiny bit of a walk around but I was too fascinated with the view and catching up with people to take too many pictures but uh, we stopped here on the dam. We stayed here for a good 20 minutes, maybe 25, 30. Um, having a look around, watching the gates open, then boarding the bikes again ready for the next step of this particular journey.
exit the dam here, we're turning left onto the fabulously named Fruit Growers Road, uh, which I guess is a nod to the fruit growing nature of the district. Uh, when you come into Cromwell, you can't help but notice the uh, statue of the peachoid, the apple, uh, various fruits at the uh, very top end of the town, kind of signalling this is what we're about, and that's fair enough. To the left there is the water underneath of the dam, heading down towards the town of Clyde, which we can see ahead. And we're soon going to be stepping onto Matua Street, or Matao Street, um, and crossing the Clyde River Bridge, or the Clyde Bridge. From here we're going to be taking a couple of loops through Blythe and then Fraser Streets to get turn around and get back onto Sunderland Street, which you remember was the first one we came into town on. When we turned off State Highway 8, went out of the dam. If we'd carried straight ahead, we'd come into the Sunderland Street in the opposite direction to which we're just about to join it. You'll see what I mean when we get there. coming up to the township itself I wasn't really quite sure what was going on here what we we're expected to do but we could see that the roads were all blocked off road close signs out uh, Harley Davidson's only allowed to proceed and people were just looking to find parks wherever they could now a few people were kind of tossing it in quite early and thinking I'm just gonna park as soon as I can right at the top end here um, in the distance I could see flag marshals waving us through kind of saying come on up come on up so as the bikes in front of me offloaded their pillions, I thought, well, they're not going to be turning anywhere anytime soon. I thought I'd just ride around them and head up to the top end of town, where I was pretty sure, thanks to the flag marshals in the distance waving, that we're going to find a whole lot more parks. And that's exactly what transpired. And as it happened, eventually more and more people started to come through, realizing there was a whole lot more parking at the top end of the street. We parked near some shady spot right near a cafe, had some cold drinks, and then caught up with a lot of people. Had a small walk around, took some uh, a little walk around video, but that's about where I'm gonna leave this one with the walk around in Clyde. My first thunder run with the hog rally, and I have to say I'm real happy. This was a fabulous day. What a ride. What a great event, what a day. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Ride safe out there, take care. See you in the next one.